Why, hello, my loyal subjects. My name is King Wolf, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet Indigo Disc. We are, uh, we just became the champion, and we are being summoned to class of one four. So let's go talk to Miss Briar, see what she needs from us. You look deep in thought. Here we are, Miss B! Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do, these knees are creaking! Oh please, you're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Wolfowl. I'd heard you were busy battling your way up the BB League, but to think you'd made it as far as champion, what a dazzling accomplishment. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Sorry, Miss Briar, could we leave all that for another time? What's the thing you wanted to tell us about? My apologies. That was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic, then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. It took all of my willpower to not say to blow up and act like I don't know anybody. <laughs> but to be honest, I have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping that we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in the Era Zero. Terrapagos? A legendary Pokemon? It's a rather exciting idea, isn't it? Uh, there you are, Gita. Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. La Primera! Hmm? Champion Wolfowl, I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, uh, of course, you must be participating in the student exchange program. Wolfowl just got crowned our new BB League champion, too! Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose the bodes well. Is it alright if I explain the situation to the children, Brian? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater in the center of Paldea. Once that reach was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring the man and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits even for research. That being said, all of you children are going down there. Unsupervised, I'm pushing you in myself. Recently, we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time, to study Area Zero. So, he reached out to me, as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Wolf also on the team, I know I'd safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team as we explore Area Zero? I'm in. Splendid. Well said, Champion Wolf Um, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, but I'll pass on this one. The League Club's a whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. Good, because I'm pretty sure the uh, the blue-haired character there, I also gave the Team Four Star Krillin voice. Uh, so if you're not coming, then they can have that voice. <laughs> I'm curious as to what our mighty ex-champion is thinking, though. I'm going. 
If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. And it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us. It seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kieran, Wolfowl, and myself. You have my thanks for the help on this matter. I look forward to great findings that you will no doubt bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. I would love to know why Gita um, brought you along. If you're not going to talk, okay. I guess it talks to both of you. It's been a while, Champion Wolf Owl. Hey, kiddo! Rika's here too! At your service! Not gonna lie, never dreamed we'd be running into you! I see that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as Paldea Champion. That voice sound feels right. That feels like the voice I gave Rika in the in the in the in the, the first the original playthrough. Also, definitely remember your name was Rika. Living up to your title as Paldea Champion even while abroad? That's what champions do, baby! I'm the champion of the world. <laughs> Indeed, I would expect nothing less than a talented trainer such as yourself. I yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. Are you bitter that I... But not enough to get you off the hook! You went to the Great Crater without League's permission, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't think you're gonna get a scolding for that. That's what champions do. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking rules willy-nilly. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him, after all. And besides, we have good reason to believe that all the Paldeo would have been at risk if the champion Wolfowl here hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook for this one. You better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, champion Wolfowl. This time, you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I've elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Sp Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to Briar person? Yes, yes, I did. I forgot about that. Champion Wolfowl, would you be so kind as to take this for me? Ah, the Indigo Disc. The namesake of the DLC. What is that anyway? A TM or something? Is a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. If I had my investigation team look into this, it's certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea what its true purpose, but I assume it has something to do with Area Zero. I figured that since you're headed to Area Zero, I might as well be I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're here. While you see here though, I got I gotta stop doing the Krillin voice. While he's here, huh? Did you pick him to pick up some potato salad on the way back to Why does everyone want potato salad? I do ask that you return this disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's still much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and Pokemon there. As the champion, it falls on you to protect the guide those accompanying you. Wish I could do go with you, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there and don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now please excuse us. I feel like there was no reason for Rika to be here. Did not help explain what's going on in the slightest. All right, where's the others? It didn't give me an exclamation point, so I don't know where the others are. Here, apparently. Oh, just keep walking this way? Let's see, I'm gonna get a cut. Oh, there you are. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Will Val? Sure. I have so much phlegm in my throat, it actually makes that voice easier. <laughs> Splendid, we're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling alright? Well enough to travel, at least. Well, I'm... I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. 
I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran. Alright then, shall we? I I can just fast travel. I can travel faster than that plane can. I'm just saying. Loading screen's my favorite part of the game. Oh. They just teleported us straight to Area Zero. Okay. Yeah, don't fall. We made it. I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say when I see cool things. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Wolf Owl? Yeah, with my friends. Are you going to get jealous that I have other friends, Kieran? Friends, huh? Yeah! Ah, you scared me! Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Or what you've been done? So you came here with Wolf Owl back then too, huh? Oh, you must be... Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly the first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen but, al specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. We're gonna go even further beyond! Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to someplace even deeper. Hold on, doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making for Area Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Wolf Owl. Not a problem. I'll show you how I get to the depths of Area Zero. You call Maridon? A fucking jump. Look at that, I can fly. And then we'll go through the clouds. I mean, I could have also just went into the building and teleported down there, but um, this is more fun to watch. Look at all them clouds. Look at all that frame rate. Woo! Oh, it's so beautiful. I haven't been down here in a while. All right, we're here. There's an iron bundle. This is, I'm pretty sure, where the other Maridon was. Where am I going? Uh, to the Zero Lab, which is over that way. Or not? Oh, is my map not? Uh, my map keeps me here. I hate that. I don't like that. I got. Where's the zero lab? <laughs> it's got to be part of that building. I feel like I remember during the main pl playthrough getting lost trying to get to the lab. What? Don't need to be fighting anything right now. Alright, because that's the ramp to come down. I just made a big circle. Because this is coming down from... Up top. That's where... I hit the cutscene wall. <laughs> I hit the cutscene wall. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. 
This is the Area Zero lab, I take it. Structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. Yeah, this is where my friend's robot dad exploded and tried to kill us. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero. Nope. Weren't you listening to Miss Briar? Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of the laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, <laughs> where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside this Zero Lab? Gate's closed, though. Huh? Oh, you're right. What are we doing, old Wafal? You've been here before, right? We need to... We gotta disable the lock. That's a creepy-ass smile. Wowzers, this feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. Oh, your nerd is showing. Karen. Well, I didn't say anything. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Wolf Owl? Yeah, that gate we locked so that we didn't get uh, murdered by a bunch of crazy Pokemon? Got it. Access revoked due to prolonged... Okay. I had to finish my drink. It opened before I write. Is there something extra stuff we're missing? Don't tell him about the professor. I see. So last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Indigo disc detected. It's stalking! Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please insert indigo disc. I need the disc! Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different from a TM machine. Indigo disc? What would it mean by that? Oh yeah, Gita gave me this thing to give you. Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? Oh, oh, how fun! Go on, Wolf, I'll do it! You have my permission! I don't need your permission, Carmine. I don't need to do anything. It's a disk. Dude, I haven't seen a disk drive in so long. Dude. Oh, my brain just broke seeing a disk drive. Zero Lab Elevator redirected to Area Zero Under Depths. Oh, that's. that's. unfortunately framey. <laughs> Look at that, it opened. Let's head on in. So I'm not like I'm I I've mentioned it a few times in this DLC. Like I the it the game performing a little wonky, not a huge deal to me, but I will call it out when I see it. Oh, secret tunnel. All right, this is where my friend's uh, dead robot dad was. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. Well, stop running around. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. See? Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk. Hmm. Uh, no. I'm Sasuke. <laughs> Where's Miss Briar, anyway? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Out there's someone's private photos and stuff, we probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Oh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe we could take it further down. You wanted us to go down, right? Down, you say? I fully missed the voice, but it's okay. Oh my, did you use the elevator last time to reach a mysterious room I mentioned earlier? Sure did! How exciting. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. But uh, didn't it say under depths? Aren't we gonna go further now? Yep, into the void. Oh, 
wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That, that's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate, didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah, something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab, so the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So what exactly is this thing taking us? <laughs> Where indeed? Wow, you look terrifying actually right now. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So what? Um, are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than where we last met. Could the elevator have been taking us even further down than its previous destination? Why is she doing a full TikTok dance? Man, Area Zero is already a lot to take in. I don't think anyone's going to surprise anything's going to surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey, what's all this stuff? More research papers? Duh. Oh! What What are deaths doing down here? Oh my, oh, oh my, this is this is a report written by the esteemed Professor Chiro. A massive cavern exists beneath area... Actually, should I do this in Chiro's voice? A massive cavern exists... I can't. I can't. I can't do that right now. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero. Where there's some Bastrop goes the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears to be rousing. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed the tarot type the Stellar type for now. Could Terrapagos influences be at play? Trapagos is the hidden tre tre treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what is this about a stellar terra type? Brilliant! Absolutely marvelous to think there was so much that he didn't write about. These documents are veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. Legendary Pokemon Terrapagos, that's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten to file to fill these of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. Okay. Oh, cutscene immediately. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not going any further with this in the way. Hey, what about Wachamadon, the Pokemon you ride on? Can it smash through? Let's give it a go. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold on. This is quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try and destroy it with brute force. So what do we do then? Hmm... Uh oh, are there Pokemon all the way down here? Oh, what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged by some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You have no good. In, you're no good in battle, Miss Briar. Kiki, no, Wolfile, you should handle this. Oh, that's gonna hurt his ego. That's gonna destroy his ego. Okay, so I just have to beat up this Glamora, right? Oh! <laughs> I had to beat up this Glamora that has... A lot of things going on. What on earth is that energy? It, it couldn't be. Oh, I did not heal. So it's Stellar Terra, terra type is what that is? Oh, that actually kicked its butt. <laughs> it's 
it's less it's much less frightening now all right victory is mine good work wolf owl now that path opens okay whoa it disappeared did knocking off that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's like the report we found earlier. Well, while we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type, that means it must have the stellar Terra type. Uh, so what's all that mean? Wait, that was supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? I can't say it for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's notes that say the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The glory you just fought off doesn't fully fit that description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Terrapagos. Well, the only way to know if it was the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on! Alright, well, we're gonna have to continue. In the next episode, whenever this loads. Stellar Terra Shard, okay. Am I going to need 50 of those to make something stellar terror type? Can I jump down here? Do I die? Oh, I die. The pit is death. Understood. Okay, cool. So in the next episode, we're going to adventure further into this. Maybe find Tarapagos. And then we'll be good to go. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.